Yeah, Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, New South Wales, Australia. We're down on the waterfront today. Um, what many of you overseas people might not know is that it's Anzac Day. And um, everybody's celebrating the Anzacs who fought for our nation. Now, I've just walked past the Jehovah Witnesses back up there, and I'm going to go back. Um, the wife's just getting a coffee. And I said to them, um, you just don't acknowledge the Anzacs because she's a conscientious um, objectors and the, the woman had the hide, she's not even Australian, had the hide to sit there and say well they've got a hope. Well I didn't want to cause a scene but I am going to go back and um, ask her what exactly is the hope that she's talking about given that the Anzacs fought for this nation. Australia is one of the best countries in the world. Who do these American Jehovah Witness people think they are? peddling their lies in the middle of um, a day that's supposed to be celebrated to the Anzacs. My gosh, i got something to say. Now this is Dr. Jason W. Morrison and as you can see, this is Anzac Day in Australia. This is the day where we acknowledge the Anzacs who have given us this wonderful country and have enabled us to enjoy this wonderful land. What a beautiful place. This is just one little pinprick of Australia's families are celebrating and stuff and would you believe the gall of the Jehovah Witnesses just over I'm going to pan out a bit just over there on that chair where the person with the red top sitting behind the hut over there you can see the gall of these two Jehovah Witnesses to set up the cart now I said to them as we we're breezing past I said you just don't acknowledge war and do you know what they had to hide to say? They had to hide to say, well, and I said, you don't acknowledge the Anzacs. And the woman had to hide to say, well, they've got a hope. Well, I had to keep walking. I was infuriated. Anyway, we, the missus got herself a drink and then we're coming back. And by the time we got back, which was about 10 minutes, they had gone. They knew that, I, that they weren't in the right place and they were being disrespectful. So doesn't it go to show? You've got these people here you know, that have brought out the, the ones that have gone to war and are marred from it. Um, there's an Anzac there. I'm just going to, you might be able to see his, um, just there, that man with the glasses, he's got his medals and everything on. Um, the gall of these Jehovah Witnesses to come out here in the middle of this and offend the Anzacs like that for peddling their propaganda and religion. This is Australia, Jehovah Witnesses Watchtower. This isn't, a, you know, this isn't where you belong. Get out of Australia. We've had enough of you, a nuisance religious organisation. Yeah, hi everybody, Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Very upset at the moment. We've just um, come back from the waterfront, which I'll show footage of um, in a, a more thorough production. Um, it's Anzac Day here in Australia, and that's where all the soldiers and people from New Zealand and Australia that got this country the way it is for us um, are acknowledged and prayers are given for the dead and the ones that are still alive and there's not many of them left are acknowledged and um, all that stuff. It's just a day of respect for the Anzacs and I went down the waterfront yesterday to see if I'd find any JWs floating around just to warn them that tomorrow, you know, stay away, your conscientious objectors you just don't acknowledge the flag, you don't um, sing the national anthem and you couldn't care less about the Anzacs to be honest because you just won't, um, well you, you just won't go to war. Now these people have gone to war, they've given us our country and I don't think it's the, or just what I want to say, I don't think it would be the right place for you to be in the middle of all this. So I went down and there was none around, I'm thinking well okay it seems to me like you're not going to get a Jehovah Witness presence. Um, they've got the common sense to know, don't get mingled up in the Anzac, um, Anzac Day. Well, lo and behold, me and the, the wife, I've taken her down for a walk, she's just getting a blood test at the moment here at the medical centre. Um, lo and behold, you wouldn't believe it, we're walking along the waterfront and there's a cart, there's a Jehovah Witness cart. Oh my God, I nearly jumped out of my skin. I said to these women, um, my gosh, I said, you just don't believe in war and the Anzacs, but you're down here in the middle of these families 
um, who were trying to show respects for the dead that fought for our country. And you know what the woman had the hide to say? She had the hide to say to me, well, they've got a hope. Well, I said, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back, I said. So we went and got a drink and come back and they'd gone. They knew that they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They don't respect the Anzacs. They couldn't care less about the Anzacs. And I'll tell you one thing, the Jehovah Witnesses haven't damn well done a thing for this nation. Um, when World War II was in, the Menzies government in 1941 had to close down their radio stations because they were making a nuisance to the Australian effort in World War II. Anyway, I'm causing a bit of kerfuffle here in the medical centre. I better get off. But the Jehovah Witnesses' insolence and disrespect to the Anzacs in 2019 on the Central Coast to have the goal, the absolute goal, to set up a cart in the middle of Anzac Day, in the middle of the park. My gosh, wake up.